but they're back on the winning track taking care of the Wizards down in DC. We welcome you here to Sixers Post Game Live, proudly brought to you by Curado Insurance, Amy Fiddle, Jim Lynham, and Mark Jackson. And Joel Embiid, nothing short of magnificent. He got a 50 spot and they needed every single bit of it because they won 131-126, but he was doing everything on the court and then some tonight, Mark. He was very dominant. You know, we expect this from Joel Embiid. I expect him to be a little out of rhythm, a lot of sorts for sitting that long. Mm -hmm. Thought it takes for time to build in it. He must have heard me like, hey, big mark, I got you. <laughs> yeah, we talked about that on the pregame show. He hadn't played the last two games. It had been almost nine days off fully. But, Jim, they had been practicing. You thought maybe he would be a little bit okay because of that. Yeah, uh, if you remember uh, the previous game, Nick Nurse alluded to the, the time frame here, meaning they'd get a little bit of rest, you know, a, a good day and a half away from it and then that they had the extra day. So I had a sense they'd get two real days of practice where they'd actually go up and down, in part to accommodate Joel's situation. And I think that had the, you know, the benefit. So he was probably a little bit more ready to go full blast. Yeah, ready to go. Shot 68%, 50 points. No rust on the big man. Here he is with Kate Scott and Al Abdenabi. All right, great performance. Best of the season for Joel Embiid with his dad in attendance. Joel, you were just mean when it comes to taking on these Washington Wizards. You had 48 in the win over them in South Philly. What is it about this Wizards team that sets you up for success? Uh, there's nothing against them. Uh, I'm just seeing the flow of the game. Uh, obviously, I had to be aggressive. They, they came out early. They were aggressive. They made a lot of shots, and we couldn't make anything, especially from three. So, you know, the game, uh, you know, called me to be aggressive and try to attack every chance that I get uh, and, you know, and use that to sell, also set up my teammates. So, you know, I was just trying to be aggressive. It's nothing. I mean, uh, you know, I do it against. I try to do it against every team. Tell me a little bit about you've been off, obviously, with a little bit of an illness. How did you feel out there? You look good, but how did you feel? I didn't feel good. My chest was killing me. Uh, you know, I was, you know, I was getting back a little bit. I started feeling a little bit better in the second half as far as my win, uh, but, you know, I was, I was struggling. <laughs> but I'm much better than I was uh, because it was pretty bad. So look out NBA is pretty much what Joel is saying without saying it. Uh, Joel, also great to have Kelly Oubre Jr. back. How much does his return mean to you and the guys? It means a lot. Uh, finally, we're all healthy. Uh, having him back, having a few guys back. Uh, now I've been missing the last few games. Uh, I think, you know, you could kind of tell. Uh, it felt like it was the first game of the season and it was a brand new team uh, because I mean, offensively and defensively, I felt like we weren't in sync. Um, you know, the spacing wasn't wasn't right. But you know, it felt like that was really the first the first game with everybody healthy. So I think we're gonna get better. Um, you know, defensively we were really bad. So uh, I'm looking forward to try to get better. After having guys out for a number of different reasons, how good does it feel to have everyone back in the lineup? Feels great. I mean, you want to be healthy. You want to compete against the best, you know, at full strength and see where you are. And uh, I think I hope that uh, in the next couple of weeks, um, you know, until the, the end of the season, everybody stays healthy and, you know, we go on a run. 13th win of the season. Congratulations, Joel. Thank you. Yeah, it's important because this is the first time we've seen the Sixers with their full complement uh, in a while. Kelly Oubre back in this one. He missed 11 games a month's time. So that was something I think really that we were all looking for. The Wizards on paper obviously are not as talented as the Sixers, but they gave up a pretty good fight. And maybe that helped the Sixers and kind of come together a little bit, Jim. Yeah, uh, I said at the top, Aim, that uh, this Wizards team, that there's no problem with their offense. They can score points. Uh, their defense, that's another story. But, yeah, I think the fact that uh, it was a competitive game, yeah, that, that helped the Sixers at the offensive end. Mm -hmm. You know, they had a good pace about them. They shared the ball. And getting Ube back into the flow, I think, was a big deal. Let's check out Joel Embiid's numbers. He's faced the Wizards twice so far this season. I'd say he enjoys <laughs> this one, Mark, because he's got 48 and then now a 50 spot. Who knows? Next time, 52, 50. I mean, you just got to keep going up. The, the field goal percentage is what's so impressive, obviously, and it mm. continues to be uh, six career 50-point game. He shot almost 68% from the field. Here to Alad Zanabi said he only missed nine shots. It's truly remarkable in a game like this. But they needed him 38 minutes plus after that kind of layoff to put up this performance is very impressive.
You know, Amy, when I look at Joel, coach and I was just discussing, like, he knows certain aspects mm -hmm. of the game, which means he's in tune. He's he's in touch with what's going on during the game. And believe it or not, some players don't go through that. They just yeah. go up and down, go through the motions, and they're not self-aware or aware of what's going on in present time. They, they recap what happens after the game. A lot of times it's too late. When all it takes for you to be, to be on call on what's going on exactly at that moment, and you can make adjustments or, or follow what needs to be done when a team needs you. Yeah, Jim, that's maybe one of the more surprising aspects that people don't realize about Joel Embiid. Yes, he shoots the free throws at an extreme rate for a man his size. We all know his field goal percentage and the way he can score, but he really is cerebral about his game. Oh, with not just his game, and I couldn't agree more uh, to the point that Mark makes. When you're focused at the end of the game to that level, uh, that, I think that helps carry him among yeah. many, many other things where he's skilled. But that mental concentration is a factor in him performing at this level. Uh, the only other player that I'm familiar with, I mean, and really know who was like this was Charles Barkley. After a game, he could tell you almost he could recite his, and I mean it's literally a stat sheet without seeing one. Yeah. I mean, he knew got, who got rebounds. He knew who blocked shots. He knew, like, who, the top three scorers on the other team. And I, you know, I don't think it was with the benefit necessarily of looking up at scoreboards. Uh, he just had a feel, and I see the same thing in Joel. The one thing that we've talked about how Joel Embiid's game has differed this year and improved is the assists. He's a career right around the four, four and a half assist guy. This year he's averaging over seven assists at this point, Mark. This offense that Nick Nurse runs really lends itself to him being that playmaker, and you saw that again on display. How important is that aspect of his game? You know, Amy, I have to be in all fairness. I know we want to give a lot of credit to Nick Nurse and the system he's implemented. But uh, in my humble opinion, it's, it's, it's two folds. It's like, yes, Nick Nurse has put Joel in similar positions he's been in the last yeah. couple of years at the top of the key. So it's not really rocket, uh, you know, incredible, like this mag magician has created this thing. Nick Nurse is a great coach. But I'm telling you, respectfully, James Harden not be on this team allowed more flow, allows more people to, to move and, and be a part of the, the even flow down the floor. And what's important that is not going to be looked over is the additions of, of Kelly Oubre. Mm -hmm. Kelly Oubre and the way Maxie's playing with confidence and giving a green light, Joel is able to play a different style of play because James Harden's removed and is no more one person pounding a rock. And I think so. It's, it's Nick Nurse deserves some credit, but a lot of deserve with addition by subtraction of James Harden not being in offense. Come at me if you want, people. No, but it, it is like, you know, the chicken or the egg type of thing because you can't have one without the other. You can't have Joel Embiid running this as well if you don't have the system. And maybe the system doesn't run as well if you don't have Joel Embiid doing it. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's true. Uh, you can't just put the ball into a guy's hands, let's say, 40, 50 times a game. Uh, I'm going to start doing a, a getting some of our stat people just to get maybe the difference that Joel and B without question did he handle the ball in the past of course he did how do you average and be the leading scorer in the NBA without touching the ball but he's handling a lot more now because there's a lot less pick and roll to Mark's point with James Harden and when you run pick and roll by definition if I have a ball and I'm driving off somebody I don't want somebody cutting through the lane on me mm -hmm. I want the lane open so I can drive so pick and roll play people become more stationary and if you're going to pass the ball and get movement away from the ball that's the kind of thing you see Joe benefiting with assists and other players benefiting by moving yeah these these gentlemen had a really good breakdown of the two-man game with Tyrese Maxey and Joel Embiid and that's just a prime example of the movement you see with this and that's why those two are combining to average about 60 points together uh, for the NBA all right we're gonna take our first time out here on Sixers post game live brought oh, we to you heard by that in a while. insurance it has been a minute so we've been listening to uh, clap tools. your hands so let's enjoy it as we go to break we're in here from Nick Nurse coming up on the other side clap your hands everybody <laughs> Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện Vào khổ trăm thân từ nằm cho cuốn truyện Âu Long Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện Vũ nuôi xấu xí được nằm trong cuốn truyện Âu Long Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện
hãy bỏ đầu cho tôi vào thăm baby chút xíu được hãy bỏ đầu cho tôi vào thăm baby luôn vì sao mình tôi bị đá ra ngoài không công bằng xéo đi trông huynh thế kia không ăn đá mấy lạ sư phụ trương đại nhân đang tuyển vú nuôi sư phụ hãy cải trang thành vú nuôi và thăm baby ý hai nhiệm vụ gian khó này để ta thôi sư phụ đừng đi nữa xấu mặt ô long viện quá Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện Tại Hàm Răng được nằm trong cuốn truyện của Ô Long Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện Đừng vẽ bậy được nằm trong cuốn truyện của Ô Long Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Chào mừng các bạn đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện Bà bảo vệ cháu 